I mean, I was a little boy, I, I wanted to fly airplanes. I've always been fascinated by airplanes. I'm still fascinated by airplanes. I'm 46 years old. But you know what? During that time frame, I've been able to learn, oh, gee, about lift and drag and all that and thrust and how airplanes fly. And that's the science and engineering of it. And it's really, really fun. All of my teachers, I was rather blessed with a very good education when I was younger. All of my good teachers, they would promote me being curious and innovative, whether it was through art or science. And it, it, it's just as simple as, you know, you're fascinated with an ant crawling on the ground and you wonder how can that ant you know, carry this thing and go forever? That must be like a hundred miles to us, you know, just across the driveway. And that kind of, you know, those are interesting questions. Every, all of, all of science and engineering is questions about nature and your curiosity about nature and then how to really build things from what you learn. I'm a research psychologist. I was a direct commission. I've done a little bit of psychology, but quite frankly, I've done a many different things. And that's one of the reasons I wanted to join the Navy is because it's very multidisciplinary. It involves every occupation known to humankind. Physiologists, engineers, uh, physicians, uh, MD, PhDs, master divers, senior EOD technicians to work on their, the issues and challenges they have facing them, whether they're health threats or performance threats. So I really think those, those issues will still be around for the younger generation now because we're just starting to kind of pry open the can, so to speak, on some of the basic physiology and we're, we're just barely getting around the edges. So who knows, the next 10, 15, 20 years from now, the young person watching this film, they, they might be the one creating the mitigation strategy so we can dive deeper and longer and more safely.